What is the plus patch and what does it do? That's what we're going to answer in this video. But first, a quick history lesson. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is one of, if not the best vampire role-playing game, but it hasn't always been like that. It was played with problems, problems with the source engine, and problems with the publisher itself, Activision. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the nitty-gritty of what happened, but Basically, the developers were handicapped, it was rushed, and it was released in an unfinished state. It kinda reminds you of something else, huh? And it shows. And while it did get patched a couple of times after release, there are still a lot of moments in the game where you would think, huh, that doesn't seem like how it was supposed to go. And that's because it's not. But luckily, because of how good the writing is, how amazing the voice acting was, the setting along with the politics around it, a group of people managed to release a set of patches with the sole purpose of balancing the game, fixing most of the bugs, and even adding a bunch of new cutscenes, characters, voiceovers, and new gameplay mechanics just to make the game feel like the game it was supposed to be. And that is how the unofficial patch was born. Now, there are two types of unofficial patches. First is the basic patch. This only fixes the game itself, its bugs, its problems, and it will install a bunch of engine fixes, allowing you to play in a solid 1080p, 60fps, or as far as 4K, I think. I don't really have a 4K monitor, but I did have a 3440x1440p, 21x9 ultrawide monitor, and it still supported it and turned out pretty good. It will also fix a bunch of glitches that exist in the game. NPC scripts, walking animations, stock quests, and new textures to replace the ones that don't look as good as it should. And overall, just make it the best vanilla experience it could be. Keyword, vanilla. It won't add new mechanics, it won't add new NPCs, new quests, or any of those. It's just a patch made to fix what's broken in the vanilla game. The second type of patch is the plus patch. This includes everything that the basic patch has to offer, plus a bunch of new features added to the game. Which is, in my experience, it makes the game feel more definitive and it will add more value to the game overall. It adds new cutscenes, mainly because there are moments in the game where you would have no idea what's going on with the story, or at least what it's trying to convey. And you'll only figure it out later on when you're almost halfway into the story. The game assumes that you knew what was happening from the very beginning, but really, you don't, and it sucks out the experience for you. The added cutscenes help in fixing that. This way, you're always on the loop and you won't feel as stupid which I did. They also bring back the unused assets in the game, restoring a lot of unused content such as new quests, levels, items, characters, dialogues, graphics, models, sounds, and even the original soundtrack present in the game. Now, the music in the game is actually pretty good and it fits the game's setting, but it does get repetitive after a few hours into it. The plus patch fixes this by bringing back the original music, adding to what's being used, rather than replacing it. Which is, to be honest, for the best. The music in this game is just really good. I haven't even mentioned the new weapons, clothes, and armors. It makes the game more alive, varied, and to be honest, there's not a lot of usable weapons in the game, especially in the first few hours. The plus patch fixes that entirely. Another thing added to the game via plus patch is the remastered to some of the disciplines. I've already mentioned this in my Vampire the Masquerade Beginner's Guide for Disciplines, I'll leave a link here, but some of the disciplines in the game doesn't go well in combat, in stealth, or sometimes they're just either way too overpowered or just way too weak to even consider it as a skill. The plus patch fixes this by rebalancing it, reimagining some of it, while staying true to the game's lore and making it fun. If there's one reason I'll install the plus patch, this would be it. Now that you know what the patches are and what they do, how do I install it? It's pretty easy actually and I'll teach you how to do that right now. Also, I bought the game on Steam. I don't exactly know where you got yours but it should be pretty much the same. At least I think so. Step 1. 
know that you can't install the patch mid-game. If you already are in-game and you've done a few saves already, know that you won't be able to use those saves anymore as the unofficial patch is not compatible with any vanilla game saves. And just to make sure that there will be no problems with the game, I would highly recommend uninstalling the game altogether, deleting the files in its destination folder and then installing it again. This will create a clean install, and any mods or patches you download for the game should work flawlessly, assuming the mod or patch you're installing is legit. Uninstalling the game also deletes your save files, but you won't be able to use them after the install, so that's fine. Step 2. Go to the website moddb.com slash mod slash vtmb dash unofficial dash patch. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're there, look for unofficial patch 11.0. Now, they've already made a bunch of patches before this, and this goes to show how much work they've been through just to keep the game alive and working so well. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be 11.1, 11.2, 11.3, or whatsoever. Just look for the latest one and click on it. Now, you would want to click on this download now button. Okay, don't click on anything else. Just click on the download now button, and it should download that for you. Once it's done downloading, just double click it, install it, read the agreement, know what you're installing, and then click next. Now, once you get into this page, you need to click browse. The default destination of the game is not set right. So you need to click browse and go to the right destination folder, which for me is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Click on that folder, press OK, and then click Next. Once here, you'll be given an option to install either just the basic patch or install the plus patch. I would highly suggest that you install the plus patch immediately because the improvements that you'll receive is just way too good to pass up. If you want to experience the vanilla game, sure, just stay with the basic patch, but the plus patch is just way too good. Everyone's playing it this way. Just click on the plus patch. But then again, it's up to you. You can also install this patch extras, which includes walkthroughs, shaders, SDKs, and more. This also includes NPCs, dialogues, I think. I don't really, <laughs> I don't exactly remember what it does, but it's good. I mean, nothing wrong is gonna happen if you install it, so might as well install it, right? So yeah, click next and then install. Now it's gonna take a while to install. Just wait for it. It's gonna be fine and yeah. Just wait for it. Once it's done installing, click next. You'll see these two options. Now you can read the readme if you want, but I would suggest not to run the game yet. Click finish and you'll see a brand new icon in your desktop. That's the Vampire Damascus Great Bloodlines unofficial patch. To run the game, you're gonna have to use that shortcut. You can't really run the game normally now because it could break the game. If you wanna play the game, you have to use that shortcut. But if you're like me and you're playing this on Steam, I would highly recommend that you do this. Open up your Steam, go to your library, and type in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Right-click the game, go to Properties, General, and under Launch Options, type dash game space unofficial underscore patch. I'll leave this code in the description below. After that, just close it up and you're all set. This makes it so that when you do run the game on Steam, it'll run the unofficial patch version of the game as opposed to the original one, which could break since you already installed the unofficial patch over it. And you're done! You're all ready and all you need to do is run the game however you want, play the game, and enjoy! And that's it! To get started with your vampire role-playing journey, I highly suggest watching my video on Vampire Demasquerade Bloodlines Beginner's Guide for Clans. As I go through each clan one by one, going through who they are, what they do, and how they could affect the game itself. Like, comment, and share, ding that notification bell, and tell me, what is your favorite vampire video game? Well, except for this one. I myself love the Legacy of Kane series. I never actually finished it, but I might play it again sometime soon. Or I could stream it. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.